guys welcome back to our channel my name is banta with nj my name is not banta with nj my name is injide kachukuma <laughs> my, my name is not injide kachukuma anymore nj you are the woman that married um, Chukudi. So, Chukudi. Chukudi is my sister's husband. Hey, NJ. Welcome to our channel, okay? If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe. NJ can actually subscribe us. Either yes, so please, please subscribe to my okay, channel. Okay, okay. Please subscribe to NJ's channel and also click on the notification bell to always get notified when NJ posts her yes, videos. Yes, yes, And guys. my name is Ogom Series. Ogom from Ogom Series, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have me, also grab me I'm grabbing. Yeah, so this is a collaboration, yeah, so okay? A which collaboration. means we also have a video. Go ahead, go you guys. Channel. I'm not exaggerating. In fact, I'm tempted to tell you to click out of this video and go and watch Agom's video first because that video, oh my god, it's I've never what? felt this on the table in the my life, on the in my whole life. On the oh gosh. Mm. Just please, I'm not exaggerating. Trust me. If you get there and you think I'm exaggerating, come back here and insult me in the comment section below. We'll really give you mad. back your data. She's mad. She's Angel crazy. will give you back the data. I will give you back the data. Yes, Angel so will give you back the data. So please, when you're done with this video, eh, head over to Ogum's channel. Please. The link to our video on her channel will be in the description box. Yeah, yeah. Go and watch. Have a good laugh and learn. Yes. Maybe she will teach you something and for learn. the other room. Yes. Mm. I don't know. My mouth is still heavy. And my from mouth that is heavy too. Oh my gosh. Mm, oh my my mouth God. Is I don't heavy. even know how I'm friends with this girl. You are my, my godmother. You are Angel is my godmother. <laughs> and you're looking exceptionally beautiful today. Thank you. Oh my how? gosh. <laughs> how, let me pass oh my, my gosh. You guys you, you know that I'm just like what two months two and a half months into marriage. Yes, and into marriage. I need all the help I can get. I knew you has been married for how many years now? Seven. Oh my gosh. My seven first years. son's birthday is tomorrow. As so he's going to be seven, seven years. I'm all I'm yes. up, all I'm <laughs> I can keep okay. You know? Yes. So like she's going to be educated. And please we are not marriage experts, okay? No, we are not. We are all learning. True. Yes, we are learning. I can learn from NJ. Why NJ also learns yeah, from me. So true. we can also learn from you guys. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. so as the video learning. goes on, tell us, teach us in the comment section, okay? Yes. Correct us if you think we're wrong. Yes. Yeah, please. if you think she's wrong and she's advising me and wrongly, please mm, correct no her in the comment section below, okay? No problem. So, yeah, if this video is the kind of video you're interested in watching, just sit back and enjoy. Yes, keep watching. <laughs> So how do we start this now? Mm -hmm. Okay, you've been married for seven years. Yeah, yeah. Now, for these seven years, how have you been able to keep the peace in your home? And was it more difficult initially or easier initially? And did it become more difficult or easier later on? Like, okay, um, how do you manage to keep the peace? I'll just put it this way. <laughs> um, some people say uh, marriage is difficult because they don't understand the person that they got married to. Yeah. I always strike out love in marriage. I don't know why. I always strike out love. Like... Understanding the person that you're getting down with is very very important because that is the first rule Some people say communication is first, but I say understanding is the first because if you don't understand you guys will keep encountering Encountering, encountering problem in your home. Yeah, but if you understand the person that you're getting married to there are things that you both will do to each other that you don't call it anything that you know okay this is you and this is me that i shouldn't have a problem with it okay yeah. um okay i will just say example in my home remember that what works for me might not work for you yeah, okay right, what right. you apply in your home I might not really apply it in my own home, okay? Yeah. My husband is a kind of person that um, kind of like uses any word on me, but I don't take it as anything. But there are people that they will bully and say, eh, why would you talk to me that way? You will start dragging Your rights. Eh, eh. <laughs> like you will start dragging rights. Why would you talk to me that yeah. way? This one, that one. But me, what do you consign me? So far, your kind, I know, I already know the kind of person you are. I understand the person you are. I understand your personality. So I don't have a problem with you using those words on me. Okay, but the place shouldn't get to. I, I, I think it should yeah, there's a cut. Limit. Yes, there's a limit to everything. It shouldn't cross the boundary. Okay, yeah. and also understanding the kind of person you are. Like in my home, I'm the kind of person that keeps malice. Like I can keep malice. <laughs> I want to be angry in peace. If I'm angry, don't talk to me. You shouldn't be talking to me while I'm angry. But in my home, my husband is the kind of person that he doesn't know how to keep malice, okay? 
even why both of you are keeping malice is kind of like still talking to you so i i have understand the kind of person he is that once he starts if he does that thing i know that it's time for me to cut my malice i know that i should continue my life because the person i'm trying to keep malice with is not even paying attention to me so i've learned the hard way so i would say understanding first of all in yeah. is the first tip yeah first tip first tip oh no marriage i will strike out marriage because love no their marriage oh go and quote me anywhere well, no, wait, isn't calm love down. Important to love is important, extent. but that is not the first important. Yeah, I don't think it's the first mm -hmm. as well. It shouldn't be the first important. It can be like number four or number five. Or number three. Or number three. Mm -hmm. Communication, understanding, these mm -hmm. are the two sharp as in it should be the first in any healthy relationship or healthy marriage. Okay. So that is what I can say. And it that has sense. been um keeping me and also Minding your business and minding the utterances that you use is very, very important. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. We should mind the utterances mm -hmm. that we use. Mm -hmm. Mind the utterances. I'm the kind of person that if he's in this room talking, me, I'm in the door talking. Okay? As if the confrontation should not be there. The confrontation should not be there. But let's mind our utterances, the words that we use in our home. Let's mind the utterances that we use in our home. Mm -hmm. So I think... So far, so good. I think in the course of time, other things will actually yeah. chip in. So, I will actually throw the question to you too. So, what can you teach me? Ah, in less than three months. Yes, now you guys have been dating. So, there are things you no, have we applied. we haven't been married for long, okay? You, you were in a relationship, Angel. Mm -hmm. If you were in a relationship, there are things that you were doing in that relationship that made him to kind Mostly of Mostly like, what you said, you are, mm. once you understand the person you're dealing with, yeah, yeah, it makes it all easy, you know. There are some things maybe the person will do or say, you don't take it too hard because you know probably that person doesn't mean it or, you know, something like that. Yeah, nothing much. Mm. Understanding is key, like you said, and communication, I believe in communication a lot. I will also say that um, some people don't like um, having the difficult conversation. Difficult conversation, I mean that, um, um, how do I put it, like, if there was a misunderstanding, some people kind of like just settle the difference, yeah. but they don't really go deep into talking about what must have led to this um, misunderstanding. Yeah. What should we apply in order for this misunderstanding not to happen? Of course, misunderstanding will happen in marriages, mm -hmm. okay? As in, both of us will not agree on the same thing yeah. all the time. Yeah. There must be a misunderstanding. And when that misunderstanding happens, how do you have a discussion about it? Mm -hmm. How you have a discussion about it for it not to happen next? Or for it not to happen again? Of course, it will still happen again. But having a difficult conversation um, in order not to carry grudge. I don't know if I'm still in line. I don't know if I'm still in line or I'm diverting. Whichever one, not carrying grudge for each other is also going to promote a healthy relationship or promote a healthy marriage. A peaceful marriage. Yes, a peaceful marriage. Okay? You can't have a grudge in your heart, maybe about what your husband did, and you are kind of like scared to talk well, to you him. have the right to be angry at least. Yes, for a I know. Amount of That's time. what I said. I want to be angry in peace. Let me be angry in peace. But after that anger, we also need to talk about it. Even if I need to carry on with my life, I need to talk to you and tell you, babe, see, 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 this thing you actually did, yeah, I don't like right, it. Right. That's maybe, yes, that's the communication about. we're talking about. Having that difficult um, difficult conversation, maybe you're scared. But why would you be scared to talk to your husband maybe about what he or she, he did to you? Because some people will say, hey, if I have this conversation with him, they show no mama mula mob, this one, yeah. it might result to something else. That is where that understanding comes in. Okay. If you don't understand the person that you got married to, you will always be scared to have a discussion with him about what he did to you. In that way, you will carry a grudge in your heart. From that grudge, it will turn to hate. Okay. There is nothing that will make you to please that particular man. From there, you're kind of like diverting from your marital responsibilities. Shebi? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I so that I is agree. um Yeah, yeah, I understand. And yeah, that's really good advice. So mm. in essence, what you're saying is yeah, of course, no one no one it's not a one formula thing, yeah. but we should try to understand our partners, right? Yeah. That's number one. Yes. We should communicate as well, of course, and then love can come in third or fourth or fifth. Mm, love can come in third or fourth or fifth, whichever one, but the understanding, the communication should be there. Okay. The understanding, the communication, love. 
Love should lead always. Okay. Love should lead. Don't inherit. Uh -huh. Don't inherit your husband's um, problem, as in your husband's sibling's problem. When they're having misunderstanding, okay, yeah. know that's not EJDK. <laughs> now marriage you come. Don't go and put mouth on necessary because if they if they um kind of like um KKC, mm -hmm. if they get in um in good terms, they will of course talk about it and that will actually paint you a very bad wife. If they're having a problem, I'm not saying you shouldn't try to um, reconcile involved, them. Yeah. If, yes, even if you try to get involved, know the extent for which you will get involved as a wife. Don't go and enter fully. Eh, babe, don't agree. Oh, you guys, do this you think one. about this thing? <laughs> do this one, no, oh, here. <laughs> if, maybe if it's the elder brother that's struggling, eh, babe, don't, you will just be Kwanyoko. Yeah, Me, yeah. I know the extent for which I put mouth. Me, I will always say, now PJ didn't be mm -hmm. All I will all tell you is that please let love lead. Right. Know how you guys. The do same love you yes, said that said is love. number five for six. Calm down. The love. I, this one is not. Uh, you are not loving the siblings <laughs> now. You are not loving this. I'm saying let love lead. The katakata should not be there. They should just settle amicably. Let okay. love lead. So okay. that is what I don't inherit your husband's um quarrel. I be the your yeah. husband's siblings quarrel. Okay. Uh -huh. So the mind your business. Your now your wife siblings. they send you to do. Oh, you are not a peacemaker. Hey, but a wife should also be a peacemaker. I know you're a peacemaker, but no. No, not me. I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. I get what you so, mean. But yeah, I'm just trying to tell you, uh -huh. wife is also supposed to be a peacemaker. Uh -huh. So <laughs> every every family have their problem. Yeah, there is no family that. Uh, family that doesn't encounter problem mm -hmm. but whenever the problem comes out try to settle um the problem by just issuing good advice yeah don't go and instigate that is what i'm trying to say okay. don't go and instigate wrongly yeah. because when the um the um disagreement settles they will eventually talk about it yeah so that's true that you guys what, what do you think okay tell us in the comment section below how do you keep the peace in your home okay i'm willing to learn and i'm sure our gum is also, I'm willing, also to willing to learn, to learn. Like, we know that, that it's not a one formula thing but we're willing to learn and adjust you know as needed or something like that so please let's get chatting in the comment section below tell us how you keep the peace in your home okay yeah, yeah. yeah you guys remember this is a collaboration and we have a video on our gums video this, this Ogum's channel. Ogum's channel. Sorry, mm -hmm. this is going to be the most hilarious, entertaining, um, fun. educating, fun video you ever watch. Like this, hot, yes, hot. spicy hot. Oh my gosh, hot! I hot. can't believe I was even able to open my mouth. If you don't enjoy it, come back. Angel will give you back. Yes, if you don't enjoy it, yes. I will gladly give you back. Is it we possible give that you. they will not enjoy it? Uh -huh. In fact, eh, oh my gosh, you, you guys need to go, go and watch, watch okay? And please don't forget to subscribe to our please, respective please. channels. Please, please mm -hmm. subscribe to our channels, okay? We, we we're really fun people at least yes. our gum is a really fun person me and oh, dicey and mm. hanging around yeah. there okay mm, we are there <laughs> so yes, and don't please. forget to give thumbs up thumbs up please, it's okay? very very important yeah, very give important. Thumbs, thumbs up thumbs turn up. on the notification bell please do okay please. yes and do not skip our ads yes do it yes. right thank you please thank you. Our gum watch is our video monetized. yes please. but when she is please 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 Yes. Do not skip our ads. <laughs> that one has ring a bell. I don't skip people's own yes, because exactly. if they do, what goes around comes around. Yes, if you true. skip people's ads, I skip all those one hour plus for yeah, one minute. I minutes. understand, but at least mm -hmm. if there are five ads, at least watch like three. Yeah, of course, definitely. Mm -hmm. so definitely. That's, that's what we're right. trying to preach. So, yes, guys, thank you. Thank you so thank much you for so watching much this for watching. video. Uh, uh, we're going to see you on Ogum's channel. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you guys on Ogum's channel. Yes. yes. Bye. Bye.